and uh, you know I waited that day and when that day came you know he he, he came with a he came with a very bad uh, a very bad uh, deal if you know what I mean because it all was so strange uh, the club he made a deal with called me and started to to change the deal with me and I was like thinking to myself what's really going on why should I deal with this when uh, my agent are supposed to deal with the contracts you know so I told the club that he spoke to that I'm not interested I got another club so I didn't speak to him that day anymore and not with the other club that he wanted me to sign for as well uh, I decided that I'm going to sign with uh, the other team I had a meeting with so I contacted them again and I told them yo let, let's let's do it I'm, I'm on it I'm going to sign it and they were like all right tomorrow morning tomorrow morning uh, we'll meet you and uh, we we had a meeting again and uh, you know I signed the contract and I was happy and it's a one-year contract which uh, which give gives me a very good chance if I make it good this year if I make it as good as last year or even better you know it gives me a good chance to move on and uh, and in the same way, uh, I'm helping. I'll try to help the team during my year. And you know, I don't want to think too much, but you know, I got one year now, and uh, I could have signed for two or maybe four years. But I, I, I wanted to sign a one-year contract because uh, I would like to move on. I would like to step my game up a level or two. So I'll just hope that I make a good season this year. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I just want to start playing football again. Uh, the season is starting in the uh, 16th of April, so I'm really looking forward to it. And you know, I played in Division One last year. I'll play it this year. There's no problem about it. You know, maybe it's good for me to play it again and just show people that I can do better than I did last year. And I'll try to do my best and help the team. And you know, I'll take it from there. Uh, after my contract goes out, you know, I'll take it from there. But that's not what I'm thinking about right now. That's the last thing I'm thinking about actually. Uh, agents and you know all that kind of stuff that's the last thing I'm thinking about right now because you know um, I'm going to move on uh, I made this deal on my own and you know I didn't do it with my agent he has nothing to do with it so like if I make a good year and I can move on after this year why should I why should I need my agent like he'll just come when I got big clubs after me so there's no reason to, to really speak to him anymore uh, he didn't do anything at all he didn't do anything at all he just made me look bad by speaking out to the media telling me telling the media that this club is interesting I, I got this club calling and making me look bad you know and you know uh, I, I had to call one of one of my old coaches who, who called me and wanted me to play for them uh, but I turned them down and if I look back now what I should have done was uh, say say yes to that contract that he offered me but I turned it down because you know I was I was told that I was going to get much better contract much better deal so I turned it down so I just called him after I signed today and uh, I called him and I said yo it's not that I want to come back I'm not calling to to say that I want to to ask if I can come back. I'm not calling to. I'm not calling to say I'm sorry. I'm just calling to let you know that I want to end the conversation we had last time in a bad, in a good, in a good note. You know, I want to leave. I want to talk to you for, for for a reason because I want to, to end the conversation we had last time in a good way. So, I called him up and I spoke to him about all the things I've been going through like I've been promised so many things and I've been told so many things the last couple of months so I just let him know that one of the reason I turned down the contract I got from him was because I was told that I was going to get into a better club get a better deal you know maybe maybe move abroad and he, he understood me but, but you know he told me you learn from your mistakes and another thing he told me was that you know he really appreciated my call you know he told me Brian this shows that you're you're matured 
and you know I really appreciate your call it means a lot to me and uh, I wish you all the best and you know I'll play the team he coaches and he told me I wish you all the best in the games except the one you play against us and you know we just had a good phone call and uh, we had a good conversation and uh, yeah I just want you all to know that guys it's been tough for me the last couple of weeks it's been very tough you know it's not fun as a player being told so many things and then nothing really happens you know because as you all know I got I got high expectations I, I got ambition and you know I'm just a, I'm, I'm just a player who wants to make it you know and actually the agent didn't get it you know he didn't get it because he didn't put any effort in me at all I'm telling you guys he didn't put any effort in me at all and the deal I signed with now he has nothing to do with it I, I got it on my own you know so there's no need to keep keep the contact with him you know there's no need for that and uh, I just want to let you all guys let you all know that you got to be careful guys you know what I just went through there's a lot of plays players going through that and uh, you know sometimes you just gotta learn from your mistakes and I've definitely learned a learned a lesson this time I definitely learned a lesson because there was another team who contacted me and said that you know Brian you gotta be careful with those agents blah 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 and I told them like yeah I know I know I know but I didn't really listen to what they said because I thought they just wanted me to sign for them but actually they were right you know they were right and uh, that's what my the the coach I talked to uh, told me as well he said Brian you 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 learned from this mistake and I really did I really did I really learned that you know you should follow your heart because at some point I felt that something wasn't right like why why didn't why didn't I do anything before like why did I wait with why did I wait so long you know three days left and I signed my my contract with with the team it was only three days left till the transfer window closes so it could could have ended in a very bad way it could have ended that I didn't have a contract at all and I, I would I would play no football till the summer you know and uh, I'm just happy that the team I signed with Barcelona it's called Barcelona gave me this opportunity give me the one-year contract which was exactly what I wanted and uh, you know giving me this opportunity I really appreciate it and I'll, I'll I'll just do my best and take advantage of this chance that has been that I've been given you know like I said three days left and I, I waited so long like since January I've been waiting 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 for something to happen but everything has just been standing still uh, the agent he got some other of his players into teams but he didn't get me into a team and you know um sounds strange i know guys it sounds so strange but i'm just telling you guys be be careful you know sometimes you might be better off alone trust me you won't you don't need people like that so be careful who you sign with when it comes to agents sometimes you don't even have to sign a contract with an agent till he gets you a contract with a team you know what i'm saying so be careful uh folks of football and uh yeah love what you're doing you know and if you love to play football make sure you play football and don't don't focus so much on other stuff guys i'll just you know start to train now uh with the team next week uh, and you know i'm looking forward to it a lot and i just want to thank you all for the support for being being here for me at all times lift lifting lifting me up when i'm when I'm having a bad day and um, yeah now I got a club I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for me to get a club so now I got one so I want to play football like I said and I enjoy myself you know don't forget to enjoy yourself enjoy what you're doing so thank you guys that that's all I want to say I just wanted to let you know what I went through I just wanted to speak uh, speak about my situation I just wanted to let it all out because I, I've been holding it in for myself for such a long time you know and i told my mom i told my dad like oh don't worry i'll i'll, I'll get into a team i'll get into a good team i'll get a good contract etc 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 but i told him that because i was told that by the agent so i was fooled i was fooled i'm feeling i'm feeling bad because i was fooled and i also feel 
that I don't want to have any contact with such people, you know, it's not good, it's not good at all, you know, stick around positive people, stick around good people, that's all I gotta say guys, take care, thank you all for the support.